my gorgeous spooky kids there welcome to your love tarot reading this is going to be for you and your person my darling whatever that means to you situationship relationship bumble dating marriage let's take a look at what's going on for cancer sun moon rising and venus please show me angels also cancer remember these you versus them love tarot readings uh we're assuming with these we're assuming there's some kind of a rift or separation happening some summon in the air something uh, swimming in the water you know what i'm saying baby uh let's take a look please show me angels Cancer. Also, Cancer, if you're new to the channel, welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot. And if you are a returning Blue Angel, thank you. I love you. I appreciate you, boo-boo. Okay, I'm already seeing a little bit of confusion here with this person. No wonder, boo-boo, no wonder you're, you're watching this uh, love reading because I cannot figure this out either. <laughs> yeah, there's an issue with this person. Um, <sighs> they're keeping you, this person's keeping you in the dark over something. Let's see what it is. <clears throat> cat mm, speak your truth yeah there's some kind of truth that's not being spoken here with this energy the cat mm, cat kitten energy um there's some kind of a truth that's not being spoken um something that you uh, something that you see in this person you kind of see through them a little bit and they don't like that boo boo hmm we'll delve into it uh uh, as much as possible my darling but before uh, we continue i just wanted to say hi if you're new to the channel uh, w welcome to blue angel of tarot and if you are a returning blue angel thank you i love you i appreciate you i see you baby give me a kiss mm -hmm. Uh, it is always just so humbling and, and so wonderful to know that you uh, choose to spend your time with me, my darling cancer. So yeah, let's let's delve into the cat energy here a little bit. Yeah, this cat, you know, this is about speaking the truth. And I think someone isn't telling you the truth. Uh, it's not just about like lying about, you know, um, life or, or what they're up to. This is about uh, them not telling you what it is they truly want. Um, maybe misrepresenting themselves a little bit. If it's a bimbo, himbo from Tinder, anyone in between you met on a Tuesday, someone has misrepre misrepresented themselves uh, mm, a little bit. And I think this person also could have been funny with you recently uh, or was funny when things came to a head between the two of you because you could see right through them, bit because cancer is intuitive, cancer is psychic, my dear. Uh, you know you're gorgeous and psychic so I feel like this person was like ah cancer can see through me by you know they could have you know done something to sabotage the relationship on some level let's see please show me angels what uh, happened here oh <sighs> yeah lack of movement Mm -hmm. Okay, boo -boo, I'm not gonna lie this person uh, is lying to you was lying uh, this is why things did not work out. This is why things did not go to uh, to the next level for some of you. If it was a bimbo himbo from Tinder, you got the Queen of Pentacles, uh, you got Three of Cups, you got Ten of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. Uh, boo boo, no jokes. This is some. This is just this. Ma this boo boo is married. All right. This boo boo is married. They're in a relationship. They already had someone when they met you, or they were on a break, quote unquote. You know what I'm saying? Like this. This boo boo is married. There is a married. You know married home quite possibly they have kids with someone as well and they didn't tell you about it but i'm so sorry this is like this is coming through very strongly um it's it's something to do with that it's either they were they were already married or they were entertaining other people third parties all of that like this is coming up super prominent uh, i'm sorry um or uh, in you know whatever your case is this person was lying about whether they wanted to have something stable with you or not so take it as it resonates don't ever ever assume that someone is cheating or that, that they had like a family uh or were, were married just because you know a lady on the internet told you but you know if you already know that if you already suspect or know for sure like you know this person you know i think this person was married because like you know whatever their texting pattern was suspicious they kept disappearing this person was disappearing this person was weird the energy was weird it's because they were already married if it's a new person or they were telling you they wanted stability but they didn't they were looking for an adventure my baby but it is i'm strongly getting an, uh, another relationship and uh if you were in a relationship with this person that was super long term maybe this was your wife husband anyone in between boo boo uh, this was someone who uh, d lied about taking things to the next level. So if you were planning, if you were planning a wedding, this person didn't really want it. If you were planning on moving in together, this person didn't really want it, but they kept quiet about it, quiet like a little cat, you know, sneaky like a little cat. Um, 
you know, they didn't tell you what they really wanted and they kept you in the dark about it. And then, you know, something came to a head and quite possibly this person ghosted out of the blue or, or changed up on you because they didn't really want uh, whatever f further level of commitment you were going towards. Or they didn't want to continue in the commitment uh, and they never said. But see, this person is still thinking about you though. That's the problem here because, um, oh my God, like, you know, this is a complicated, complicated little bit. They, they want you, but they don't want the commitment. They want you, but they're already married you know there's something so, something of a blessing and a curse I feel like this person particularly if it's relatively new and you know bimbo himbo vibes that person is feeling like meeting you was a blessing and a curse and they're not sure which one uh, they understand very uh, very well that they left you in the dark you know ghosting energy here very strongly very prominent or you know someone who left you hanging and someone who left you without any answers the high priestess, they know, they know they left you in the dark, but they also know that you would have seen right through them had this continued. If they're, if they're married, if they're like, you know, a boo-boo from Tinder who's married, they know you would have found out or maybe you already know and suspect. Um, this person, unfortunately, boo-boo, Cancer, I'm so sorry because, you know, we, we do want to keep these readings kind of, you know, uplifted and, and positive. And look, if you really want this person, this person definitely loves you and they do want to be with you, but it's coming here. What I'm seeing here in your spread is it's going to come at a cost of uh, five of swords the cost is yourself so cancer if you want to be with this person uh, if you want to be with this little kitten here uh you know you're going to have to sacrifice yourself on some level you're going to have to sacrifice what it is that you want you know your standards your self-respect so you know ask yourself is that what you really want to do you got the seven of cups here this person is coming at you with a bunch of illusions i, I feel like if you're if you were to get back together with this person they're going to keep gaslighting you and you got the five of cups there will be disappointment here going forward if they if things continue the way they're at this person is going to continue disappointing you uh, with lies and gaslighting and I do feel unfortunately that this person is going to keep circling back around even if you feel like you're never gonna hear from this person ever again um, by the way something could have happened in Aquarius season that was important in this connection like the ghosting could have could have been as Mm, far out as Aquarius season this year. Well, this person um, is coming back around quite possibly. Hmm. Quite possibly this person is coming back around in uh, maybe like early fall. This is almost, we're almost in early fall. You know what I mean? Early fall. There's a lot of fives energy. You know, this is when the seasons will change. Uh, this person could be coming back around or trying to talk to you. But what I see here is this person is just going to keep on lying, lying, lying because they're just... They're, they're embroiled in a web of lies that they created. So th they do bring unhappiness and disappointment to you overall, Bibi. Whatever these lies were, you know, you know your story best, but I, I'm getting like another situation here very strongly. Uh, and it's just going to be this, you know, back and forth where it's like the kind of person who's going to say, hey, you know, like I, I am actually, you know, maybe I'm still, I thought I had an ex partner, but like we're actually still together or we're still living together. We're doing it for your kids, you know, whatever th that storyline is. It's going to be one of those and they're gonna say like you gotta wait can you give me two years you know like let me get my ears together it's gonna be something like along those lines uh i don't know but bill it's up to you uh if this person um you know tries to tries to gaslight you or lie about anything like i would probably run you know this little cat like you know there's a little secret there's a little mystery to this cat can you you know i don't know i don't know the cat cats go their own ways you know they have their own little um uh, journeys their own little ways they're quiet I feel like this person that it's in this person's nature to be quiet do things on the quiet as much as we love kitty cats on this channel clearly um, you know that energy is just like a little bit sneaky here uh, so it's up to you cancer what, what you want to do with this person I would be very very careful about uh, giving uh, your heart away to this people because they're a little bit sneaky and they have a sneaky nature my darling but it's all about free will on this channel let you know what cancer let's see if something else is coming through for you another relationship let's see there's another energy coming through well this is the energy now of moving forward doing your own thing i feel six of swords and then yeah and the devil uh this is strong rebound energy definitely people on the horizon if you uh if you want to push yourself out there and date and just you know feel good about yourself have you know go out there show yourself to the peasant folk okay and the peasant folk will be worshiping you this summer uh until the end of the summer if you if you feel like it you should do the rebound because it's going to be very uh 
it's going to be fun and it's going to be pleasurable for you. You're going to enjoy yourself. The devil is a lot of enjoyment when it comes to dating, a lot of victories, uh, a lot of, you know, sexy times, you know, stuff like that. So there's definitely opportunities around you. You just got to open your eyes. Maybe, maybe. So this is what I have for you, my darling. Let me know in the comments below if this is your story. And if you vibe with my channel and you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe? Turn on that notification button, my boo-boo. And of course, uh, like the video because liking the video really helps me out as a small creator on YouTube. And if you'd like to get a personal reading with me, all the information is down below. I'll see you next time, my gorgeousness, darling Cancer. Stay sparkly, stay amazing, and may the angels protect you.